Alright. Assalamualaikum, kid. We meet again. Alright. Right now, teacher want to teach you how to use the money. How to plus and minus the money. Alright. So, let we look at this picture. You can see a lot of item here with the different price. You can see the sticker how many cent? 40 cent. Very good. How about balloon? 35 cent. How about mask? 80 cent. And also eraser? 25 cent. And the last one is ruler? 55 cent. Alright, okay. Let you imagine you go to the shop and then you want to buy the all of things. When you want to buy the this one, so you must to know how to plus the money. So, let teacher teach you how to plus the money. First, example. Okay. Imagine what you want to buy. Okay. So, example you want to buy is a sticker and balloon. Okay. So, what you need to do? What the operation that you need to use? Correct. It's a addition. Plus. Okay. So, let teacher sh show you. Sticker. How many cents? 40 cents. So, please don't forget to put the symbol. 40 cents. Now, what you said before? Symbol what? Plus. It's a plus. Addition. How many? The, how much the balloons? 35 cents. Alright. So, you put 35 cents here. So, you must to know how much the total of money that you need to pay if you buy the sticker and the balloon. So, let me count. 0 plus 5. 5. Correct. Very good. How about 4 plus 3? 7. Very good. Okay. So, now... The total price between the sticker and the balloon is 75 cents. That means if you buy these two items, you must to pay to the shop 70. You must to pay to the cashier 75 cents. Alright. Now let we go to the next example. Example, the next example, you want to choose. Okay, I want to buy example teacher. I want to buy eraser and ruler. Okay, so let we count. Let we total up eraser and ruler. So the symbol is same. We are using the same method. That means addition plus. So eraser. How much the eraser? 25 cents. Okay, so you put 25 cents plus how many? Uh, how much the ruler? 55 cents. So you put 55 cents here. So let we count together. As I said to you, please start from the right. When you start from the right, now you count. 5 plus 5 equal to what? 10. When you got two digit number, don't forget. One put down, one bring up. So you have 10. Zero down, bring up one here. Alright? And then, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 5, 8. Correct. So, this is the money that you need to pay. To the cashier when you buy the eraser and ruler. So, how many? How much? 80 cents. Good job. Very good. Okay. Now, how about the difference of the price between the two items? When teacher said about different, the topic, the, the method that you need to use is minus. You must to minus the value of this. The, the, you must to minus the value of money. So, example, you must to know. Okay, teacher, I want to know the difference between mask and sticker. Okay, so when teacher said the difference, the symbol is minus. Very good. So, how much the mask? Okay, 80 cents. So, you put 80 cents. 80 cents. Teacher said difference is minus. So, minus what? You want to know the difference between price, mask and sticker. So, sticker is 40 cents. So, you put 40 cents here. Don't forget the symbol cent. Now, your minus is the same. Start with the right. So, 0 minus 0. 0. Very good. 8 minus 4. 4. Very good. So, now, the different price between the mask and the sticker, how much? 40 cents. So, this is how you find the difference between the money. That's the how you plus and minus the coin. So, now we proceed to the 
notes. How you need to plus and minus, how you need to total price of the notes. Now, we have a lot of example here. You can see, we have a picture, we have the item slipper. How many ringgit? Nine ringgit. Now, we call it ringgit because it's a notes. Now, wallet, how many ringgit? Eight ringgit. And the books, two ringgit. And the pencil box is six ringgit. And the last one is crayon, three ringgit. Okay, the teacher will give you the example. Example, you want to buy. You want to buy what? Okay, I want to buy the slipper and the books, teacher. Okay, so now, how much the slipper? Nine ringgit. So you put nine ringgit. Don't forget the symbol RM. And then, if you want to know the total price, you must do plus or minus. Plus, very good. So, plus. How much the books? Two ringgit. So you put two ringgit. Don't forget the symbol. Now you plus as usual. Nine plus two, kid. Now inside your mind to your finger and then you count the nine, ten, and eleven. So now you know is the answer is eleven ring kid. Don't forget to put the symbol. Okay, now you know the total price between slipper and the books is eleven ring kid. Okay, let teacher give you the second example. The second example you want to buy. Okay, example you want to buy the wallet and the pencil box. Alright, now can you tell me how much the wallet? Eight ringgit. Okay, so now eight ringgit. Now you want to know the total between wallet and pencil box. So how much the pencil box? Okay, six ringgit. Okay, you put six ringgit here. Same. Don't forget to put the symbol. Ringgit Malaysia is important one. So eight plus six ringgit. Eight plus six. Eight inside your mind. Six your finger after eight. You count and then the total is fourteen. Very good. Don't forget the symbol. So the total price between wallet and the pencil box is fourteen ringgit. Okay, now we go to the different price. When teacher said different, different. What the symbol that you need to use? Plus or minus? Very good. Minus. Okay. Example. Okay. I want to know the different price between slippers and crayon. Okay. So now, how much the slipper? Nine ringgit. Good job. So as usual, you put nine ringgit. When you say different, plus or minus? Minus. Okay. Minus crayon. How much? Three ringgit. So you put three ringgit here. So keep. When you minus, be careful. Count backward. Don't count forward. Nine minus three, count. Okay, very good. Nine minus three is, all right, six. Good job. Don't forget to put the symbol. It's the important one. So now you know the to the difference between the slippers and the crayon is six ringgit. Good job. Now we go to the next example. Next example is you want to know the difference between wallet and crayon. Okay, so wallet, how much kit? Eight ringgit. Okay, eight ringgit. And the crayon, three ringgit. Same, please don't forget symbol, three ringgit. Now we minus eight minus three. Easy, very good, five. So symbol, don't forget. So the difference between wallet and crayon is five ringgit. So that's. Oh, same like the coin. How you plus and minus the notes. Alright, kids. Okay. So now we already learned how many subtopic inside the topic money. Alright, we already learned recognize money. How the conversion of money, the same value of money, and the last one how you use the money in the problem solving. So please don't forget to do revision. Please recognize the all the money, the colors, the shape, and also. How you use the plus and minus the money? Then don't forget to do the exercise. Alright, kid. Okay. Assalamualaikum.